I was from a background that I always knew I was going to college. Uh, my grandmother went to college, so I knew I was going to college. When that happened, I went from being a, a stellar student to within six weeks, I was starting to get D's and F's, and I was standing in the corner being the bad kid. So when I got older and reflected back on that, I realized that those kids in that class that I was put into could have been me, and I was them. And there were kids in that class that had tremendous potential, but because of the programming, we were missing that potential. And because of that, that's why I have such a passion for what I do. Students are recruited while they're in their eighth grade. And most often we look at the student's GPA and we look at certain criteria, first generation, African-American, uh, underrepresented groups in terms of income, um, and really looking at those students who will not be given the, the opportunity because of their situation. And we raise the bar and the expectations. We tell them they're going to college. They don't have a choice. We tell them that they will succeed. They don't have a choice. We're behind them and it's not just one person that's behind them, it's their parents, it's the local governing board, it's their, their people, other people in, in HISTA, in their communities. And then when they get to the college level, it's the HISTA family at the various colleges that these kids go to. All their expectations are then reset from the entry into HISTA. I want to be an orthopedic surgeon really bad, and I'd love to get into that. I just want to be a doctor. I don't know what type of doctor I want to be yet. I have to look into that all the way. How do you lessen the achievement gap? You equip students with skills. You equip students with science inquiry. You e equip students with math abilities. You equip students with um, effective writing, effective study skills, and all of those things we integrated into the summer curriculum so that these students could go and back back into their communities, into the classrooms, and feel, not necessarily the word empowered, but feel as if they had the skills, not only feel, but believe that they had the skills to pursue um, a college degree. To me, the whole experience, uh, going to WVU um, with the help of the HISTA program, come back and work in a, in a rural place, especially my hometown, the whole experience to me has just been very rewarding. It's nice to be able to, to come here and feel like that you're truly making a difference. Um, that the things that you change, that what you've learned in school, you can turn around and apply it uh, to a situation and really see uh, how your changes can impact real lives and, and real people. And it's nice to come back and, and truly make a difference. You know, it'll help me out towards college. Plus, you got these camps where you can learn and everything else and get the real, get the, get a week's worth of college experience. Camp's great. During the year, doing projects, going to symposium with HISTA. It's a learning experience, but it's also a lot of fun. And WVU is a great school. It's very nice and everybody up here is just willing to help us. Uh, when I see these students so excited about their own futures, about futures that they didn't believe they had when they first came into HISTA. It is such a thrill. There's no better feeling to see than a student who is realizing that they can be who they want to be. My parents didn't go to college. They want every opportunity that I can get. They're there to help me and support me through anything. My, um, my parents didn't go to college. Um, they wanted to see me exceed in life, you know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna settle just for, um, not going to college when I know I can go to college and I can do better things with myself.